Good morning, everyone. Today is July 30th, 2014. My name is Ralph Friedrichs. I want to welcome everyone to my 23rd video. Uh, today is a special day because we're going to talk about something that involves drinking. But here's the catch. We are going to talk about um, either eight or nine drinks that are cocktails without alcohol. I choose to call them mocktails. Now, I'm going to go over the name of these particular cocktails or mocktails, uh, but I'm not going to go into all the ingredients because it would be way too lengthy. But you can go to my website at www.clearviews.info. That's C L E A R V I E W S dot I N F O. Or you'll be able to see all the ingredients for these uh, drinks, these mocktails, on my Facebook. Uh, also titled clearviews.info. Let's start right now before we go too too much into what we're going to talk about other than celebrating with our mocktails. Mocktail number one is called a afterglow. Now I'm just going to tell you basically what's in it but I'm not going to go through the whole uh, uh, ingredient chart. It's basically orange juice and pineapple juice and when you mix them together over chilled ice they actually look like a regular drink. So the first one is called a afterglow. Second one is called Hold on one second here. There we go. I'm sorry. Second one is called the Atomic Cat. The Atomic Cat. Now the Atomic Cat has a lot of different ingredients in it, so I'm not going to go into all of them. Uh, but basically what it has is uh, some uh, cranberry juice, some orange juice, some pineapple slices, some pineapple juice. And again, you're going to pour them into a large chilled glass and serve them uh, possibly with a cherry or a um, uh, little umbrella that you can put on there. Drink number three, baby orange fuzz. Now this mocktail, not cocktail, because we're mocking a cocktail has a lot of ingredients including orange juice, pineapple juice, raspberry juice, and cranberry juice. You're going to put all those ingredients together uh, over um, some ice in a chilled glass. So that that is another uh, mocktail. The next one is called the Hurricane. Now the Hurricane uh, has cranberry juice, grapefruit juice, orange juice, lime, and you're going to uh, pour that on crushed ice and you're actually going to now put that ice into a blender with these ingredients and almost make like a, a, a slush puppy out of it. Uh, looks delicious. Uh, it sounds uh, really good for a name hurricane so I can imagine what kind of uh, nice non-alcoholic drink that must be. Next one is the Morning Star. Morning Star has some uh, different type of ingredients. It has honey in it. It has uh, Pineapple juice, pineapple pieces, cherries, some mineral water, some club soda. This is called Morning Star. So this is another good one for you folks uh, to have at a social gathering like weddings or a bar. Uh, so instead of the cocktail being that we are uh, recovering alcoholics, we are in sobriety, uh, even for folks that are doing uh, uh, drugs, uh, and are now uh, deciding to quit the drugs. These are certainly also good because remember when we spoke on previous videos, we spoke about we're not going to substitute one drug for another. So this is definitely another way of um, uh, beating the, the alcohol syndrome if you are doing drugs and you still uh, drink alcohol but you want to quit drugs because you really can't combine both together. You need to quit all drugs period that includes alcohol and regular drugs next one is called the Shirley Temple now we all know what the Shirley Temple is all about so I don't need to go into that but again let me emphasize all these drinks these ma uh, they all will be on my website they will all have the ingredients on there so the mocktails uh, which are non-alcoholic cocktails will be on there uh, with the ingredients for you to go through. So that was the Shirley Temple. Now the next one is going to be the Mai Tai. Mai Tai. 
Mai Tai has a lot of ingredients. Some of the ingredients you might even find in uh, drinks that you go to in bars. And this drink actually looks like a regular drink. It actually has the sour mix. It has the maraschino cherries. It has uh, lemon juice, almond syrup. Uh, it has orange juice. It has a lot of stuff in there. And this is called the Mai Tai. So this is another drink, a mocktail for you uh, to drink at social gathering like weddings bars or whatever and you know what people not that this really matters because we are sober in sobriety wanting never to drink alcohol again so not that it matters what people really do think when when we are social gatherings and we're drinking club soda or, or we're drinking uh, regular soda or whatever but these drinks that I'm telling you these mocktails actually appear as regular cocktails so for you folks that seem to uh, worry about what other people might think. Don't worry about it with these drinks. The next one is the Mojito. Mojito, I think a lot of you folks that do drink know this uh, drink very well. Uh, it does have a lot of ingredients again, served with chilled ice um, and a chilled glass. Uh, it has uh, actually also besides the uh, crushed ice, it has regular ice cubes in it. It has a lot of ingredients, so again, www.clearviews.info or my clearviews.info Facebook page. Either one of those will have all these ingredients listed within the next hour and a half or so. Next one is the Virgin Pina Colada. Delicious. We all know the ingredients somewhat, so um, I'm not going to go through all of them, but you have your pineapple juice, you have your coconut cream, uh, you have everything except for one thing in this and that is rum because we're not going to put the alcohol in this this is the virgin pina colada and then we have the last but not least drink this mocktail which is a pretend cocktail is the virgin mary so we all know what the virgin mary is all about uh, so again i don't need to go that uh, go through all the ingredients um, they will be listed so I just want to let you guys all know that with all this, all these drinks, we can go into any social gathering, any bar, any wedding, and we can actually do this for ourselves. Thumbs up because we are continue on sobriety. Now, like I do in all my videos at the beginning, although we are seven minutes into this one, is I just want to talk about sobriety and how we're all doing. So I always try to shout out to a few certain people. I want to shout out to my friend up north and say, great, you're doing so, so wonderful and I am so proud of you. I think today is two weeks for you. Congratulations. And uh, again, I want to give you thumbs up. Thumbs up also for my friend down in Florida. I haven't heard from you in a few days, but um, we are approaching your D-Day, which is Friday and Saturdays of partying. I hope you decide you will not party. Uh, we need to keep up on our sobriety. We need to educate ourselves. We need to just keep going. Now, let's talk about sobriety. Who out there has been watching my videos, has been drinking, has been smoking pot, and is finally saying, Ralph, I want to stop. I want to clean my, my inside. I want to live longer. Who is out there that's really talking about that? Because if you are, here are the steps. The first step is, is to say, I have a problem. I know, even today, it's been over a year and a month now since June 22nd, 2013, I still have a problem. Yeah, I'm on these videos and I'm talking uh, how we can survive uh, without alcohol, but I'm still an alcoholic. The difference here is, is that I have learned step by step how to live with it and that is important. So if you truly have issues with alcohol or drugs, you want to start and you want to start today, you need to first admit not just to yourself but to other people that you have a problem. Once you have done that, from that point on, we can actually work together on getting you uh, through sobriety, getting you through drug addiction, teaching you how to, to live with it. You're not going to eliminate it, but I will teach you how to live with it. 
So now we have uh, conquered that step and we're going to now discuss different methods on uh, working with sobriety, working with addiction, learning how to live with it. Method number one is always going to be my method because it has worked for me and it can work for you. My methods are pretty simple. It is to concentrate 24 hours at a time, seven days a week, concentrate on my disease, which is alcoholism. You need to concentrate on your disease, whether it being alcoholism or drug addiction, and working with it 24 hours a day. Now, how do we do that? How do we work with it 24 hours a day? My way of doing it is doing these videos, doing my webpage, speaking to people about my issues and uh, uh, relaying all the educational tools that I can to you so that you can live with it as well. My educational tools all come from my website. Mind you that those educational tools were either provided by a doctor, psychologist, or psychiatrist, not by me. I am mere uh, the person that uh, takes that information and, and provides it to you. So you can go to www.clearviews.info and you'll be able to see all that information. You can watch the videos, read the articles, look at all the pictures that are on there. So those are tools uh, that you can utilize. And this is how I keep my mind on sobriety. It keeps my mind on you, how to help you. Because when I help you, I help me. It's that simple. And when you get to that point, by you branching out and helping other people, you will help yourself because you're constantly helping yourself by refreshing the memories, the thoughts of alcoholism and or drug addiction that you have. Step number two or method number two is AA. Now AA is very big, a large organization. They have helped millions of people. If you want to give AA a try, you can just go. Every single town has an AA, whether it's in a church or in a gathering somewhere. You go in there, speak to some of those folks, listen to their stories, and then you make up your mind if AA will work for you. I've said it previously in some of my other videos, AA didn't do anything for me. I gave it two or three chances. Uh, I just felt um, I needed a, a more active role in my recovery. And my active role is doing exactly what I'm doing right now, and that's speaking to you. I'm speaking to all that are out on Facebook watching this. I'm speaking to all that are going on my website watching this. And I want you all to know that I truly do care to help you. Because if even one person gets help from each and every one of my videos, that is mission accomplished on my end. Now, method number three, and this is a more severe method. Method number three is to go to a rehab center, a treatment center. Those you will find just about in every town. However, if you go to page seven on my website, www.clearviews.info, go to page seven, click on the state that you live in, and then you'll find, within that state, you'll find local places of treatment and uh, uh, rehab centers. Now, if you don't find one that's nearby to you, you can certainly just go and Google it and uh, put in whatever you need to do to find one in your location. So those are different methods. We have discussed other methods. You can go to YMCA. You can go to Knights of Columbus. They offer meetings like that. And then, of course, you should always, always turn to God. Uh, I've said this once and I'll say it again. God not only created you, but he created you to succeed. He doesn't want to see you fail. And being addicted to alcohol and being addicted to uh, drugs is failing. He doesn't want to see you fail. So he, what you need to do is that you need to, to get help. You need to work with it, to learn to live with it. That is succeeding. So by turning to God, God will guide you the right way. Go speak to your pastor, to your father, to, to a reverend. But there are so many different ways of doing uh, uh, methods of, of finding help. And, and these are these uh, different methods. I said this once and I'll say it again. If you're watching me right now and you feel uh, that last night you went out and you drank so much or you did so much drugs that physically right now 
you're down in the dumps, your body is aching, uh, you, you're, you have severe headaches, uh, possibly your eyes are blurry. If you truly feel that you need medical attention right now, call 911. Do that, 911. Get that medical treatment. When you're completed with the medical treatment and they uh, release you from the hospital or from the doctor, come out, watch my videos, utilize any method possible that you need to, to correct and work and live with your alcoholism and or drug addiction. So we went over the methods that you can utilize. We went over uh, uh, the mocktails that we could utilize at social gatherings such as weddings, such as bars. So we have all that now all done and, and things are looking real good. But every once in a while we got to watch out for those relapse signs that I went over yesterday. I'm going to go quickly over them. Relapse uh, signs are very important to, to continuously watch out for. A relapse sign would be not going to AA, not utilizing uh, uh, your churches, not utilizing my videos or my websites, that you're gradually getting away from all that. You used to do it a lot, but now lately, ah, I don't need to do it every day. That is a sure sign of relapse, so you need to get away from that. Uh, another sign of relapse is is to um, get moody, uh, get cranky. You need to watch out because that could be a sure sign that something's just not right. So those are a couple uh, relapse signs. So I want to just uh, let you guys know. Go to my video number 20, I believe it was 22. I have all 10 relapse signs on there. Go to video number 21. I have uh, my 10 signs of alcoholism. Uh, if you're uh, affected by this, then these are signs that you need to look out for. Um, it's very important that you watch all these, um, and, and these signs are super, super important. The 10 signs of alcoholism, 10 signs of relapse. And then we have our uh, cocktails, and I chose to call them mocktails because we are mocking a cocktail. I don't want to make this too long today. Uh, yesterday we kind of went into 27 minutes. Uh, the reason I really wanted to do this is because I wanted to add a cheery note to my videos and that was to come up with this mocktails and kind of add the glitter in there and uh, to, to show that even sober we can have a slight sense of humor and, and it's nothing to actually laugh about because mocktails are important uh, because we do feel uncomfortable. I know when I uh, go into any kind of situation I am uncomfortable. However, like I have stated once before, I have been to Applebee's a couple times where there's bars. And uh, matter of fact, I had uh, a couple sitting right across uh, from me at the same table. And that couple was my parents and they were drinking wine. Yes, I was uncomfortable, but I learned to live with it. You need to learn with your alcoholism and or drug addiction. Because if you don't learn to live with it, that disease will never, never work with you. You need to work with it. That disease wants to overcome you. It wants to take you. It wants to suck you back into drinking. It wants to suck you back into smoking and snorting. Don't let the disease win. With the grace of God and your inner strength, you can actually learn to live with this disease. I promise you, I live with it each and every day. Believe it or not, I look forward to doing these videos because every time I do one, every single time, it refreshes my memory of where I was. Where was I on June 21st, 2013? I can tell you where I was. I was drunk, passed out, totally not here. In a physical sense, I was. In a mental sense and in a, uh, any other sense, I was not here. But guess where I was June 22nd, 2013? I was down. I hit rock bottom. Looking up, and I reached. I reached up. And I said, somebody help me. And something happened that particular day, June 22nd, 2013. Something happened to lift me up, whether it being my inner strength, whether it being God, or whether it being both together. But that was my day of a new life. That day when I decided to become sober, that was the start of a new life for me. In the year and a month, 
a lot of things have happened in my life. I've gone different places for employment as far as helping other companies out. Uh, at one point I was holding down three different jobs. Uh, I find myself to be very busy holding down jobs and doing this. But this is the most important to me. The jobs pay me money to pay my bills. This pays me a future. This pays me life. And, and my payment is helping you. It's helping me and helping you. So if we can continuously do this, I would appreciate if anyone out there can send me an email, ralph.friedrichs at yahoo.com. That's R-A-L-F dot F-R-I-E-D-R-I-C-H-S at yahoo.com. Send me an email. Let me know what is your situation. How can I help you? Or how can you help me? You can call me at 631-599-0218. You can also uh, go and call me on 844-393-9355. Go to Facebook. I have a, a, a page there, clear, clearviews.info. So there's all these different ways to get a hold of me. I've said this once and I'll say it again. I cannot get a hold of you. I don't know who you are. Sure, I know all my Facebook friends. About 1,800 friends on Facebook that I have. And they have friends. So I'm asking all my Facebook friends that truly feel that this world with alcoholism and drug addiction has become so bad. I'm asking all my 1,800 friends, if it's not yourself that needs help, pass my videos, pass my contact information on to your friends. Branch out because there are millions of people out there that have alcoholism and or drug addiction. I can only sit here in my living room and testify to you. It is up to all my friends or anyone watching out there to run with the information I provide to help because all of us here in this world can help each other. Wouldn't it be great, and I've said this and I'll say it again, wouldn't it be great to have a world of no alcohol, uh, uh, alcoholism I should say, no drug addiction, no murder, no rape, no crime at all. Wouldn't that be great? I know realistically it's never going to happen. But I also know that I play a very small part in this world. But that little part is more than no part at all. And my part is to help you so you can help me. My part is to supply you with the information and how to live with alcoholism and or drug addiction how to utilize different tools and methods to live with it each and every day and I pray each and every day to God that I can help someone out there and out of nowhere sometimes little texts come in little emails come in phone calls come in out of nowhere from states uh, that I wasn't even thinking I would be talking to and there's a voice or an email for somebody that happened to notice me somewhere, whether it being YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Google, wherever, and these people are reaching out to me and asking me for help. I cannot supply the help in a medical sense, but I can sure supply help by giving you the information that I utilize each and every day since June 22nd, 2013. I utilize those methods and I can give them to you. So we as a community, a world, need to all work together. So I beg, if you're watching my videos, if you don't need to help, I guarantee you there is somebody, a loved one in your life, or a friend, co-worker that does need help. Just kind of pass my video, my contact information to them. That's all I'm asking. We say this all the time, and I'm going to say it now. A sober today, definitely definitely makes for a better tomorrow because if you believe that you can beat and live with alcoholism and or drug addiction if you believe it you can achieve it but you need to believe it and you need to actually do exactly what I tell you to do in reference to how to take care of the steps the 24 hours a day, the seven days a week, those steps. You need to believe that what I'm telling you does work because it works for me, it has worked for me, and I guarantee you it will continue to work for me. So 
A sober today makes for a better tomorrow, and if you believe you can do it, you can achieve it. I want to thank each and everybody for coming by again and watching my video. I will be doing another video real soon again. I hope you all have a great day. Today is, uh, I believe today is Wednesday, so we still have a couple more days left before the weekend, but I will not be talking to you folks again probably until next week, so have a great weekend, have a safe weekend, but more importantly, have a sober weekend. God bless you.